my video. So today's video is gonna be a Harrods Valentine's gift ideas for 2023. Um, I'm gonna do it a little bit different than I did last year. Um, I'll, I'll link below the previous videos I've done last year. Uh, but the Valentine's gift ideas, I'm gonna break down in particular stores that I really love, like some of my favorites. Um, and I thought Harrods would be a good one um, because I think people get the idea of Harrods, it is a luxury department store, um, but you can get affordable pieces as well, depending on your budget. I mean, it's not kind of bargain basement, kind of cheap, but there's definitely things you can buy. You don't have to spend thousands and thousands of pounds when you go there. Um, in previous videos, I'll link the um, recent Harrods food vlog that I did. Uh, where I often go and just pick up my lunch um, from one of the food halls they've got there because I actually find the food there is pretty reasonable what you get um, and very much comparable with some of the supermarkets in the UK as well. So I thought the Harrods um, Valentine's gift ideas would be a good one and I'll break it down into different price ranges. So it'll be starting under £50, under £100, under £200, over £200 and then over £1,000. So you can be as bougie as you like. I mean, I could have gone higher and higher and higher, but I wanted to give a bit of a um, rough breakdown of, of some ideas that you could uh, go with. Um, and obviously you've seen from the previous videos that I've done, I really love Harrods, the department store anyway. So I just thought it was quite apt to do a specific uh, Valentine's gift ideas for them. So what we'll do is we'll get started. We'll start with the under £50 option. So depending on who you're buying for, um, what kind of preferences they've got, uh, dietary requirements, um, etc. I've done a bit of a myriad of different things. So you could buy, um, for example, I'll put in the corner um, these gorgeous like almond, like Amaretti biscuits, and they're about £15, £16. Pounds and a nice little treat, or you could go a little bit more bougie and get some nice truffles. Um, again, I'll put in the corner these pistachio truffles. Um, they're like 17, 18 pounds and quite a little selection, but quite cute. Um, and you can also um, go a little bit higher on the budget and there's these gorgeous uh, like little heart selection boxes that you can get. Um, I remember seeing them there when um, I've been in previous years and I'll link in the corner as well. Um, and these are around about 23, 24 pounds. Um, again, you can get, um, I think it's Venchi. I've not had the brand before, but I often see them when I go into the truffle hall, like the chocolate truffle hall. And there's this gorgeous heart gift box with a selection of uh, chocolates. And they're about 30 pounds. Uh, and again, I'll put that in the corner. If you're buying for someone as well that's interested in kind of makeup, beauty, I've put a couple of little mini pieces as well. So there's this Claire de Peau, like kind of lip gloss and it's 40 pounds. Um, so that will just go in the corner as a picture. Um, and then also if you're into um, NARS, they do this little mini Lush and Cheek set, I think it is. And that's under 30 pounds and I'll put that in the corner as well. So depending on who you're buying for, and also if someone wants alcohol, Harrods do their own, I think it's Bordeaux Sauvignon Blanc, um, and that's like 10 pounds. I think it's a, a 75 um, CL size. Um, but again, you can kind of get higher. You could get like a, a brute non-vintage champagne for like under 40 pounds, uh, and that would be really lovely. Um, but nice little snippets. And you could also kind of mix them up together. You could maybe get some Amaretti biscuits and then like one of the brute champagnes or something um, and mix and match. But that's generally what I kind of like as well. Um, but again, depending on your budget. So that gives you an idea of the under 50 pounds options. So if you want to do the under 100 pounds option at Harrods, um, I selected a couple of other kind of beauty items. If the individual you're purchasing for, if they really like certain scents, um, I've included the Dior Rose Bath Bomb selection and that's around about 56, 57 pounds. And again, I'll put an image in the corner. Um, and I just thought these were really cute. I'm not sure how many bath bombs you get in there. Um, they're quite little, but again, it's a nice little treat, especially if the person you're buying for really likes Dior as the brand. If they also like other scents, um, you could do diffusers or candles. This particular diffuser in the corner is about 52, 53 pounds. 
um, and also if you wanted um, slightly higher end champagne and um, alcohol um, there's this Bollinger special I think it's rosé and that's 60 pounds so again it's depending on your kind of scale of budget um, or you could do the Harrods they do this like duo celebration kind of gift box um, with champagne and I'll put that in the corner and that's 90 pounds so that's quite cute if the person you're buying for is really interested in kind of like a nice little pampering you could buy like a silk eye mask um, which I'll put in the corner that would be like about 80 85 pounds um, and again maybe like a little kind of silk camisole top depending on what size you may or may not know them to fit that would be about 80 to 85 pounds um, and again if you're familiar with the brand skims you could get one of their long um, slip dresses which I think come in different colors and they're just under 80 pounds so for the under 200 pounds section of the video um, with regards to Harrods you know you're kind of working your way up the kind of price ranges um, you can get you know cheaper candles for example but I've put in this section um, about I think it's a baobab candle which is kind of more of the luxurious end candles and they're about 110 120 pounds I would say with these types of candles they're quite strong scented so if that's not for you maybe go with kind of a slightly different um, scent um, and also you know price bracket and again with scents you could maybe get the uh, misty or kind of gift box which i'll put in the corner here again if the person likes the misty or kind of eau de parfum that would be really lovely um, and if people are into kind of um, luxury clothing or accessories this is the kind of price range that it kind of starts off in Harrods really. So you can get a mulberry silk scarf, which would be about 135 pounds. I'll put an image in the corner to give you an idea. And again, really lovely silk scarf. Or you could maybe go with some sneakers, um, some particular branded sneakers. Um, I've put some in the corner here, they'd be about 150 pounds. Um, and maybe some kind of lovely like lingerie, silk nightgown. Um, this would be around about £170, so I'll put that in the corner as well. Um, and then you could do hampers. So Harrods do gorgeous hampers um, and you can pick and choose what you want to put in. Um, they have selected this kind of sweet treats hamper, which I think is quite cute and very um, apt for Valentine's really. And this would be £150 um, and it looks really, really nice. Um, if you also wanted to go down other brands as well, like Dior, um, I do know, I think it's been quite popular, I'm not sure if it's in stock still, but they do this gorgeous kind of uh, Rouge Dior kind of makeup set, and that I think is about £195, um, but very cute, and you get like um, lipsticks in, and it's kind of like a little handbag as well, so quite cute, um, but you are kind of starting to go into these kind of more luxurious uh, brands as well now. Um, I mean, you can still kind of mix it up. You could maybe get something for under £50 and mix it up with something for under £100 if you wanted to change it up. It's, you know, it's entirely up to you, but I just thought I'd give, you know, a bit of a variety, really. Um, so the next one would be over £200. And this section, again, you're seeing a lot more luxury brands as well. And it may not be for everyone. And I've just picked certain luxury brands um, that are kind of more kind of commonplace, I would say. Um, but you could, yeah, there's so many different brands in Harrods, you could kind of have a field day. Um, but these are just some that I've selected just to give you a bit of a, a ballpark idea. You could get um, like a card holder, a leather card holder. Um, again, I'll put some images in the corner. You could do one of their Gucci Marmande ones. You could do a, a Bottega Veneta or maybe even the um, Saint Laurent card holder. They'd be between 200 and maybe 240 pounds. So um, of that kind of ballpark, again, depending on which brand you go with, you could maybe do like a Balmain t-shirt, which are, uh, you know, quite uh, popular, and that would be under 300 pounds. Or you could do um, footwear, you could do like Gucci sandals, or maybe even other, uh, I think you could do like a, a Burberry sandal as well. And again, they'd be under 300 pounds. If you wanted to go a bit higher and you particularly like Valentino, I know they've got these gorgeous rock stud sandals and they're about 300 to 320 pounds. Um, but again, like a, I guess more of an entry point level of footwear, I suppose. And then it kind of goes up and up and up. Um, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say that's an entry point, but <laughs> 
it gives you a bit of an idea. And then you can maybe have something kind of a bit more pampering as well. So you could get maybe a cashmere sweater. That would be about between two and 250 pounds. Um, very luxurious. Or if you've got various jewellery, you could get this gorgeous Smithson um, jewellery box. And that's about £275. And again, I'll put that image in the corner. So usually getting an idea of what the person you're buying for, what they're interested in, um, any hobbies they've got, any brands they really like, or you've seen them wear, um, I find that really helps. Again, if they're into kind of um, beauty and, and styling, etc., you could get some GHD cordless straighteners if you know the person you're buying for um, uses these types of things. Again, that would be about £240. So within the over £200, but still under £1,000, you could get, I mean, I saw this online, I've not got it myself, but it looks gorgeous. These really cute Prada coffee cup and saucer set, and they're about £450 super sweet um, or you could kind of go with a few more kind of skincare collections so you could do this Lemur. I think it's like a hydration collection and that's about £400 again if they like the brand if you wanted to venture into some other um, luxury brands again you could get a when I'm talking about scarves you could kind of get a Burberry cashmere scarf which should be more than the silk scarves I've previously mentioned. And this silk, this um, cashmere scarf would be about £450 to around about £470. Um, in this price point as well, you could get like a little mini clutch pouch, uh, Saint Laurent, and that would be about £535. Or you could do the, you know, the, the quite popular Christian Louboutin Kate pumps, and they'd also be under £600. Um, and then if there's something a bit more kind of practical, um, <clears throat> you could get maybe like a Smeg coffee machine if they're also into kind of their tech and um, if they're kind of coffee lovers as well. I quite like this one I've, I've picked. This is under six, no, it's under 700 pounds. Um, and then again, if you've got all these kind of luxury items, whether it's shoes, watches, jewelry, I've also included the Smithson leather kind of box um, for watches and this would be just over 900 pounds, um, so a, a bit more bougie. Um, but if you've got all these things anyway, or the person you're buying for you know has got a, you know, a selection of watches, then it'd be quite nice to get, kind of get um, a watch box to put everything in if it's within your price range. So it kind of, um, it's that kind of thought and that token behind it that I think is really nice. So the last um, kind of price section is over 1,000 pounds. And I could have gone a bit crazy here because you can buy things in Harrods for kind of crazy amounts, you know, um, thousands of thousands of pounds. Um, but again, I wanted to keep it on kind of still on the lower end, really. Well, that's subjective, but kind of, you know, we're, we're, I'm not kind of listing 50,000 pound items, which you can get in Harrods. Um, but in this kind of price range, you can start to get some of the type of bags you find in Harrods. So you can get the center on camera bag. Again, I'll put a picture in the corner. This is around about 1,200 to 1,300 pounds. Or you could get the Jody bag with uh, Bottega, um, Bottega Veneta. Um, I think it comes in different colors as well. Um, I've just put an example in the corner and this would be under 2,000 pounds, around about 1,800. Um, or even the Loewe top handle bag. That would be um, about 2,300 pounds. If you like jewelry or the person you're buying for, you know, really likes jewellery or it's a special Valentine's, you might want to propose or something. Um, I really like De Beers, which is a, um, a gorgeous, gorgeous jewellery uh, brand. And I've included this diamond necklace, which is £2,300. And also, I couldn't help it, but these earrings from De Beers, diamond earrings, are £6,550. I mean, stunning. Absolutely. They're gorgeous. Um, so if anyone wants to buy me some gorgeous earrings, uh, that would be lovely. But um, I saw these and couldn't not include them, they're just gorgeous. And again, on the jewellery brand, you could buy a um, type of watch. I've just picked a Cartier watch as an example. Again, I'll put it in the corner. This is just over £9,000, so getting a bit pricey. And if you've got all these items, you know, or you've got various bits of jewellery, you could get this lovely, lovely Louis Vuitton jewellery box. 
and this is £5,300, which is cute, really, really cute. Um, and again, if you wanted, you know, various clothing, you could get a mulberry coat for £1,800, or the Balmain blazer, which I know can be quite popular. That's around about the same price, around about £1,800. So, or even if, if depending on what season you're in, I mean, it's winter in the UK at the moment, but if you're somewhere that's kind of quite warm, you could get this cute little Gucci play suit, which is like £2,000 and quite sweet. Again, depending on the style of the person that dresses and what they're interested in. Um, but again, I could have gone a little bit nuts, um, but I think the way I've broken it down into the price ranges gives you a fair idea of, you know, how bougie you want to go. Um, but equally, you could just go to Harrods, um, you know, get a, you know, box of six truffles. Um, and it's just the thought, really. Um, but if you know that they really like Harrods the brand, I think that's really nice as well. Um, or even just making your own hamper set. Um, but this is a different way of doing this year's um, gift ideas for Valentine's Day compared to last year. I hope you liked it. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, and also, if you're new to the channel, um, it'd be great if you could subscribe and maybe click the like button. Um, it's quite a new channel for me, so I'm just kind of um, putting a variety of videos up that I like. Um, and as you can see from my channel, I do really like Harrods. So hopefully you do too. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.